Okay, I've done what I had to do to get all of the rouge out, and it was a little bit tricky down in these, uh, in the knurled areas and in the corners and stuff, and so I ended up using a toothbrush or warm, soapy water, and you scrubbed it, but it's absolutely important that you get all of the uh, polishing material, whatever it is, off before you go on to this step. Now, what I'm going to use the universal plater, and it's set up for plating onto mild steel right now with an electroclean solution in the first beaker, a wood snickel strike in the second beaker, and our gold solution in the third beaker. And for the the first two steps, the pretreatment, I'm going to I've set the voltage at about seven, just a little over seven volts. And I think that'll be uh, about right. I'm connecting my common lead to my work, which will give the work a negative charge. And for the first step is I'll do the electro cleaning. And you can see that it kind of bubbles on the surface. And what this does is it is like a final cleaning. It gets off any fingerprints or oil or anything that could be on there. And it makes the surface really wet out well. Since I had the part pretty clean already, this is just the final step to make sure that the water doesn't beat up anywhere and that all the solutions have equal access to the surface. So that's probably long enough. Now for rinsing, what I'm doing is I've just got a beaker with some uh, distilled water here. So I'll rinse the part off. And now we've got our part. There's no water breaks on there. The water sheets off. It wets out very well. And so next I'm going to leave the voltage at 7 volts and I'm going to grab the handle with the Woods Nickel Strike Solution. Now for this, this is the activator and it really doesn't do anything that you can see. It's just activating the surface, making it so that the gold will adhere. And again, I'm just going to go over it fairly quickly. Spending maybe on this part, what, maybe 15, 30 seconds, something like that. I just want to make sure I get everywhere at least once. That's good enough for that. Again, we rinse. Now for the gold solution, I'm going to turn the voltage down. I'm going to turn it down so the initial voltage is about, um, I don't know, four and a half volts. And when I begin the plating, the voltage will drop a little bit further. But uh, now that we've got it down, we grab the handle, we've rinsed again with the distilled water. And you can see that when I'm putting it on there, the gold is immediately taking and the part is turning gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over the entire piece fairly quickly and get just a kind of a, a light layer of gold on there to protect the, uh, the mild seal so that I don't get any oxidation or corrosion. And uh, and after I get the top layer on, now we'll just go back and we'll kind of take our time and Real light pressure in a circular motion, slowly advancing across the part. I hope that uh, a lot of times when you're videoing gold, it doesn't necessarily look all that gold. The part looks really good to my eye. I hope it looks good to the camera. I want to get the edge of this. The, the uh, gentleman that sent me the part actually did most of the initial polishing on it and he didn't do any polishing on the back side. However, what I would do is I would uh, recommend that if you're going to, to plate it that you polish all of it, even if it's an area that's not going to show. 
And so what I'll do is I did a little polishing on the back side. So I'll plate the, the front side. Now I've gone over the whole thing probably a couple of times. And what I'm going to do is I'll, uh, I'll continue after I uh, quit filming this part of the video. But I'm going to spend probably about... Uh, a total of five to ten minutes plating on this. I mean, it is for a gun part, and the more time I spend plating, the thicker the gold will be. And I want to make sure it has a nice heavy layer of gold on. And you know, especially down here, this knurled area is probably knurled because it's something that's going to be, uh, you know, people are going to press on it or move it with their thumb or whatever whatever you do. I don't even know what kind of a part this is, but uh, you can see that as I plate, some of the purple coloring is uh, goes out of that area of the sleeve. I'll, I'll try to show that right here. And it becomes a little bit lighter, and that's because the uh, the metallic components of the solution are depleted out of the sleeve. And so when you can see that the sleeve is getting really light in color, then it's time to redip and get fresh solution. Anyway, that's about it for this video. I think I'm going to uh, stop video in right now I'll spend a few more minutes gold plating on this part just so that the, the guy has a nice heavy gold on it but that's basically how it works <laughs>